Hello everyone, my name is Nathai. I post EV3 Scratch and Python videos to program your EV3 robot. So if you want to stay in touch, please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to follow a wall using the ultrasonic sense. The first step is creating a new project, which you can name Wall Follower. After that, you need to initialize your motors and create a drive base. After you've created the drive base, we need to, init we need to initialize your ultrasonic sensor. So we can uh, put our ultrasonic sensor as ultrasonic underscore sense sensor is our ultra ultrasonic sensor and then parentheses uh, port it may be whatever but for me it's s4 or the Port four. Now we can write the program. Programming is very simple. It is going to use the same uh, logic as the line follower. So just all we need to do is replace the color sensor with the ultrasonic sensor. So first we're going to put a forever loop or a while true loop. And then after that, there's going to be an if and else statement just like in our first line follower. So if the ultrasonic sensor dot distance which is a functionality of the ultrasonic sensor as we see in the user guide and it measures it in millimeters so if the ultrasonic sensor's distance is less than um, let's just put it to 10 100 millimeters which you divided by 10 which is 10 centimeters and then so then the robot uh, robot the robot will go robot dot drive we can just make it go at like for example 100 percent speed and then we can put the turn rate to minus 30 and then for the else statement we can, the ro the robot will drive in the opposite direction so robot dot drive 100 and 30 which is the opposite of minus 30 and if you're following so this is for me because i'm following using the left side of uh with the ultrasonic sensor on the left if you're doing it on the right um you will have to flip the values of the steering because the your robot will have to turn uh the opposite direction because the ultrasonic sensor is on the right this is what your robot should do when you run the program Right now it is able to do the turn because it's doing the else condition. Because the if condition is so that it's less, but then since the distance is greater, it's doing the else condition. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.